All right, everyone, welcome to this week's photo chats about the Be Inspired by Theme um, from Friday, which is leopards. It's an exciting one. There's a lot of entries that came in, a lot of really, really good photographs. Uh, it was very tough to, to choose one, but it's obviously a favorite um, animal subject of mine. I really have a, a big passion for leopards, um, and you know, it's a, an honor and a privilege to select the, the, my favorite five images for the, for the week. I'm going to start off here by a shot by Rudy Hulsoff. Um, great photograph of a, of a leopard. Um, the light is amazing. The light any, any photographer dreams of is. It's one thing you can't substitute in photography and that is the light and golden, golden. Um, also a place when in a frame works for me, those eyes come alive, the whiskers, the clean background. Um, all in all just absolutely perfect. I don't think you could have asked for a better portrait of a, of a leopard. Uh, well done Rudy. Next shot. Some of you may have seen before, Al, my man, Alice Swartz, taking this shot. Beautiful, beautiful image. Young leopard covered. Um, important the motion of it is what I think catches your eye. The, the eye contact and the motion of that front foot walking forward. Um, and also his, his placement in the frame is, is interesting. He's included a lot of grass in the foreground and I think it works for me. It's, um, it's, it's very, very well done. I love the angle. Um, all in all, just great shot, Al, and again worth mentioning it. Uh, and bringing it up again here. This shot quite a few people have seen before and I've selected it even though it's been seen quite a few times. Um, image taken by Daryl Dow for the behavior and um, no the leopard did not kill and strangle the giraffe on its own. It's some um, opportunistic behavior by this leopard and I've seen this a few times in my guiding career as well where leopards will come and feed under the noses of lions um, while lions are sleeping, they'll sneak in, sneak in a meal, and they'll stay there for three or four days feeding, and the lions had no idea they'd been losing a percentage of their kill to another predator. Um, and again, seeing it here, just such opportunistic animals. Um, very, very good shots. Obviously, quite dramatic, and um, yeah, but very well portrayed. Nice one, Daryl. This um, by also one of my favorite photographers out there, Carol D. And Carol, just uh, if you don't mind, just for once and all, just um, <laughs> kind of let us know how to pronounce your surname because I have no idea. I'm going to sound like a total douche, but I'll just call you Carol D from now on, my the lady that loves monopoles as well. But um, yeah, lovely shot by her. The light again, fantastic. I think um, that leopard's head just, just illuminated like that adds to the mysterious nature of these, of these cats. Um, a love of trees, great eye contact, those white whiskers. Um, really, really, really beautiful shot, Carol. Um, love your stuff. Very nice. And this, my last one for the week. Great, great shot. Um, I haven't been able to figure out who the photographer was that actually took it. It was shared by Wilderness Safaris, who a lot of you people know. If they've got some fantastic properties all throughout Africa. But um, this little shot is just prices. I promise you that little leopard jumping in the air. I don't even need to explain why I love it. Um, I think it speaks for itself. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, anytime you can capture cute and in the form of a leopard and especially a, a, that's a very young cub, um, yeah, you can't beat that. That's it's a priceless shot. You won't easily get that again. All right, so you know, that was my Be Inspired By for the week and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and to those who you know, made it through, congratulations. Looking forward to this week's one which um, you'll have to check in on Thursday, but I'll give you a sneak hint. It's going to be mountains. So for all those great landscape photographers, me not being a particular one, uh, get your stuff ready, start sharing Friday, put your stuff up there and um, you know, looking forward to what we're going to be getting on there. That's it for me. Have a lovely week further and uh, speak soon. Bye-bye.